Hey guys! I thought I would do another study with me video and this time I'm going to be showing you my process for studying over several different days for my neurobiology class because I had just had my first exam last week. So here I'm showing you my note taking process to begin with. Um, he, my professor, he tests us equally on the material from the textbook and from the lecture so it's a really 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 good idea for me to be taking notes from the textbook I decided the easiest method would be to um, take it on my computer directly just because I had my laptop with me at the time anyways and I had photos of the physical textbook pages as you can see on the left that I have taken with my phone. Um, if you have been subscribed to my channel for a really long time then you definitely know that last semester both of my major classes that I needed to take notes for, for from the textbook I had online books for both and I really really don't like the inconvenience of having to lug around like a two or three pound textbook that really can cause back issues later on on top of all of the other things that I carry in my backpack. So I just take pictures of the pages I need to focus on on my phone and then I text them to myself so I can open it up in iMessage on my laptop and I can just kind of have it side by side as you can see here in the screen. Um, as for my actual note taking method, um, it's really 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 simple on this one. I'm just using the bullet point system and going through back and forth between the page and my note taking. I'm just doing like subheaders then like subtopics beneath those headers and adding more detail below it. I also tend to put certain vocabulary words that are bolded in the textbook bolded in um, my notes as well just so I know that that's maybe a new concept or something I should go back over later on. And so I really don't like the idea of using like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or something like that just because I'm very, very paranoid about my files and documents getting deleted and, um, you know, like if my computer isn't backed up or that sort of thing. So I do really like using Google Docs and Slides, Sheets. Um, Google Drive just so that everything stays in one place it's auto saved and I don't even have to think about it so that's kind of how I've been taking notes for my textbook notes but then if you look I of course am doing my lecture notes the same way I really don't love the idea of having my laptop with me in lecture um, besides like my CS class which it makes the most sense to have my computer out there but my lecture notes for my neuro class I do in the same moleskin extra large notebooks that I used last semester I actually didn't fill up my entire notebook from my social psych class so I'm honestly just continuing on in the same notebook just to save paper and money and also space because I do like to keep all of my notebooks after I finish them anyways. So what I'm doing here is that I'm going between my textbook notes that are up on my laptop screen and my notes from lecture and I'm going back and forth just making summary flashcard type of um, type of a deal where I'm going back and forth making sure I'm compiling the information from both sources into these smaller um, easy to read easy to understand um, bits of information and so I really really enjoy um, compiling my information from multiple sources and to study it in different ways I find that that is absolutely one of the most helpful things to do in any class ever is to not only do one specific method and that is it for studying I think it's really important to see the same information in multiple different ways and so I am doing that with these little flashcards um, for those curious those were like four by six index cards so they are rather large and I can fit a lot of information on it so next you will see here that I am of course again doing um, my studying with yet another method I'm using Quizlet and I decided that that would be even easier for me to enter in all of my vocab terms there because my textbook notes were online um, or I guess on Google Docs or whatever and so I basically am just copy pasting 
the definitions and terms into Quizlet and just reformatting them to fit my needs. And I absolutely highly recommend Quizlet if you have any sort of vocab or set of questions that you need to really have down because again like I really like that there are multiple modes and I find that that is one of the most useful things to do with Neuro and I really 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 like using Quizlet for that. The last thing that I decided to do was to sit with some of my friends who are also taking the class and go into my lecture notebook and actually condense all nine lectures that I would be tested on into one sheet of paper in my Be Unruled notebook. I found this to be a really, really useful method to just re-go re through like everything that I had to worry about in my lecture and be able to just sort of condense that information and make it very easy to understand. And so that was also a good way for me to study on top of like talking to people and quizzing others and looking at my flashcards and rereading notes and everything. Um, I really hope you guys found this video helpful and maybe got some inspiration for different ways of studying and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will try my very best to be as consistent as I can with YouTube videos and I'm really really sorry for missing a couple of weeks here and there because life has been incredibly busy right now and it's been sort of hard to keep up but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll hopefully see you next time bye guys